What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Sora. Now I know this is a kind of a weird game to play, but I was looking around on Game Jolt and I couldn't find anything to play today. So then I hopped on Steam and I was looking around at the new releases and this game just came out today. And apparently I don't want to do that yet, computer, hold on. This game is like, I was looking around, I didn't really know what to play, I wanted to check something out. And then this game popped up on my screen. You guys know that I'm a really big anime fan and whatnot, so it usually it'll give me like recommendations. And I, this game had anime, and it had cute, and it had bullet hell. So I clicked on it just to see what it was. And apparently, it's a side. It's basically like a top. It's um, a Japanese shoot 'em up style game with like ridiculous amount of shit going on on the screens and whatnot. But it looks like it has pretty cool story and it has pretty cool artwork and everything that goes back and forth. So I'm actually gonna let this play through because I actually just played through the first level because this game is confusing as hell to try and get that grasp of. The controls are really like it's fast paced. You know, a lot of these games are really tight controls and whatnot. It does have good controls. Don't get me wrong, but I want to read this to you guys. The beautiful blue sky is getting painted darker with each passing moment. War. People killing each other. No one knows who started it anymore. No one even knows how long they have been fighting, forgetting what they are fighting for. So this is like a kind of intro into the world itself. Now I'm going to play through stage one again for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about with this game. Also, she's fucking adorable. During this war, a girl was born. Her name was Sora. She was born with a power for fighting. She was not happy about it, but the people around her were. They sent her to the battlefield with no regard for her feelings at all. So, what I've grasped from the story of this game so far, the last war on Earth, uh, the last war on the worn out planet, whether it is won or lost, there will be nothing left. Sora does not know the meaning of her fight. Okay, so that's more or less the actual intro of the game itself. So, the reason that I kind of jumped in and wanted to play this, because it, the game literally doesn't actually let you go, go to the main menu at first. It literally throws you right into that actual intro sequence. So, I wanted to go through that first. Now, this game is, like, insane when it comes to stuff that you can do. So, I'm actually going to start the game again, because, like I said, I have played through stage one. But the reason I did that was because I was trying to do um, the... Uh, what's the what's the tutorial basically right here practice and it just took like ridiculously amount a long time like it game It seems like there's a lot to it Which is very very cool because a lot of these things usually it's either press one button or press two buttons And there's a lot of different dodging mechanics and everything with that So I have played through the uh, stage one here, and I'm gonna do it again So you guys can watch what I'm talking about I've kind of got a grasp a basic grasp of how to play the game itself But I'm still not very good at it so I want to play this part and uh, we'll go through it. Obviously, I'm going to talk over it and I know I sound like I'm about to like cut the video or whatnot, but um, I have played through this first level. Have not played through any of the other levels, but it looks kind of cool. Is it not going to do the talk? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, that's right. The game starts out with the rocket barrage. Completely forgot. But yeah, it's cool because there's a ton of different weapons that you can combine and bring into like one particular part. Now, what the story, main story of this game is about is... You play as this girl, Sora. Now, she is an android from what I've grasped from this, and the world has been, like, is just in utter war throughout the entire thing. And she was crafted as, like, a new breed of android with... But she doesn't know why she fights. She was basically created and then told to just go fight. Nobody told her why she's fighting or anything like that. So, she's this is kind of like her first mission. She's I don't even know if this is, like, the first time she's been outside or whatnot, but it's pretty cool in its own little way. This is the sky... It's heavy and gloomy. It looks as dark as it can get. Uh, I'll commence my operation now. But yeah, so you can move around like this, but you can also have this dodging mechanic, which is very, very pretty. Also, there's there's three there's three different types of like ammo and stuff in this game. Um, there's live ammo, and then there's energy ammo, which the energy ammo is not as powerful. Wow, I fucked that guy up really fast. The uh, the energy ammo, which is what I'm doing right now here with this beam or whatnot, is it's powerful and it has infinite it has infinite ammo. I don't think there's actually an ammo count in this game. The only thing that actually has ammo is like your super. Now the reason that I am playing the, oh god, I, I am playing through this on easy is because this game can get pretty fucking intense at sometimes. But uh yeah. So basically plus it allow me to talk because when you actually start the game up, it launches you into that first mission on I'm guessing either normal or easy. Or normal or hard because it was not it was way more difficult than I was letting on to be like I was getting my asshole destroyed Oh god. Oh god. Oh god But yeah, it's the energy attacks and everything that I have. Oh, yeah, I can use this Boosh! That was pretty cool Oop. But yeah, the energy beams and everything that the enemies are shooting at me, basically what I can do with those is when I dodge it actually goes through them But the live things 
but the live ammo, oh god, the live ammo, like the rockets or like regular bullets, I can't actually dodge through. And this thing, if you guys notice on top left, there's a heat meter. Now the heat meter is, I take more damage the higher that gets, so it's kind of like, um, it kind of combines the uh, Super Smash Bros style where if your percentage goes up, you, uh, you start to take a lot more damage. From what I've gathered, what I've learned from the tutorial, again, the tutorial was, like, ridiculous in the sense that it's... Oh, God. God damn it. I'm getting my ass kicked. Fuck. The game is pretty intense. Like, I've never actually been great at these style games just because there's so much shit going on on the screen at once. Oh, God. Whoa. Fuck you, bitch. But, yeah, like, the missiles, I can't dodge through that. And, granted, when I... Fuck. And when I... Uh... uh when I actually... Sorry, I'm trying to talk right now. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. Okay. Right. So yeah, the, the energy weapons and everything, I can actually dodge through those. It doesn't actually damage me in any way as long as I dodge through them, but it does increase my heat. Which, if my heat goes up, then I start to take more and more damage as I go through the level itself. Where did I go? Why am I... Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a boss fight. Ah... No one, t no one told me they'd be this strong. You are the only one left. She's not in my data. A new model? I don't need you to tell me that. Then, let's just talk. What? Let's just quit fighting. I'd, ap I'd appreciate... I'd appreciate it if you drop your weapons. Stop joking around! How could I possibly leave a monster like you alone? You called me a mo monster that hurts your speed and attacks are all way too strong just because you're a new model doesn't mean you're allowed to be that extraordinary if you really think that i cannot fall back here why what are you a moron this is a war we're talking about if i don't kill you i'll be killed if that happens everyone else will die is that the way it is the defeated will all will lose everything that is what this war is all about war if I'm defeated here, I run. If I run for my life here, he might die too. Knowing that, how can I possibly fall back here? I see. You know what? It must be exactly these kind of feelings that fuel the war. And now I go into a boss fight. I know it's kind of fuck, fuck. I did not mean to do that. I keep forgetting the buttons. The buttons are really weird. Like, this is definitely something that should be played on like a controller because the controls on the PC are kind of weird. Like, it uses like a. Uh, the bottom, the bottom half of the keyboard as the commands and everything. Fuck, I'm fucked. Why is she taking damage? Fuck. Fuck. Fucking die, bitch. Jesus, she's taking a... Fuck. Suck on my fucking super. Oh, okay, so she just kind of went through that. Fuck, it's, it's hard to kind of forget because there's like four different buttons. Fuck. Whoa, what the hell did I just do? Oh, okay, cool, I got her. That fight's actually really hard. Even on easy difficulty, this game is relatively difficult because there's four buttons. Z is to do the energy beam attack that I have. X is to use the rockets. C is to use like my super. And V is to uh, do the dodging attack. So I constantly press the wrong buttons. I'm not great at these style of games, but I wanted to check it out. Ah. We need to stop this. Not so fast. Even if we go on. Just... Not yet! She's like dying. Also, the characters are fucking adorable. Like, it's sad to see this type of thing. Especially androids. I know there's a lot of animes out there where... A lot of times, like, um... Uh, like... Some company will develop, like, these poor girls or whatever into androids or something like that. Oh. I'm sorry. I can't make it back. Whoa, okay. I didn't know that the dialogue was actually going on. I'm sorry. So... I don't know exactly what happened there. I still got a shitty ranking on that. That's the same ranking I got when I played through this, like, on my own difficulty or whatever. So, I'm just gonna put in a random button uh, just to go through. Yeah, great. Awesome. So, yeah, this game is kind of intense in its own way, but you guys kind of get the grasp of it. I didn't want to skip anything so you guys missed anything. There is, an like, an intro video or whatnot that plays after you beat level 1, but all it really does is basically show off the title screen, kind of like a, an intro to an anime, and it shows off some of the enemies. There's no actual special anything to it. Um, so, I obviously, I don't even know if there's a way for me to show it. Maybe if I go back to the main menu, I can actually show it. Also, for some reason... Uh, can I go into here? 
No, those are the those are the two things that I actually just did. Huh, okay. Huh, apparently I can't. But yeah, I'll go into the weapons. I don't actually have any other weapons unlocked, but as you guys can see, you can set three different weapons. You can have a sword, which I still don't even know how to use the sword. It might be shift or something like that. I don't know. I skipped that part of the tutorial because the tutorial was so goddamn long. But yeah, I've got the regular uh, rifle, the bazooka, and then the sword. Now, apparently... Um, the bazooka can break during combat, so apparently I can lose that. I don't exactly know, but uh, the energy beam is infinite, and it doesn't seem like there's a significant amount of ammo or anything like that, so it might not actually go into that part of the game until I get into stage two, but I'll play through stage two, and then I'll, that's basically where I'll end the video. But yeah, I wanted to see what it's about. Like, I know it's weird, plus the first time I've ever played a game like this. Now, granted, I have played, like, side-scrolling games, but... The job of cleaning up the sky. I wonder, is there anything that I can contribute to it? So basically what happened after that first segment there was, uh, that girl, I don't know if she died or if she like self-destructed, I don't know. But after that, um, basically either that was like, apparently that was supposed to be her dream. Um, I don't know if she was created for something. I don't even know if she's an android. It really doesn't explain to it too much in the game, but that's just what I've grasped from it. So that whole stage one was technically a dream that I had or that Sora, I should say, had, and it kind of gives her a grasp on what she wants to make a reality, because as of right now, she doesn't know why she was created, or why she was born, I don't know if she was a, I don't know if she was born or what, but she has, like, it looks like android powers, so that's what I'm going with, um, it doesn't actually say in the description for the game itself, so, she was a dream, and she doesn't know, that was, she wants to make that dream a reality, she wants to end the war, and she wants to clean up the sky, and that's what she's talking about here. Maybe all I can do right now is get those things away from here. All right, I'll do my best to make it happen. I'll commence helping now. So instead of like attacking or killing innocent people, she wants to help instead of just like doing anything like that. I don't know what she was created for. The game actually doesn't really do a lot when it, oh fuck. See, I already took damage because I suck ass at this game. Wow, fuck, I press the wrong buttons all the time. Also, when you're in the middle of an attack, you can get hit like, fuck. Oh, fuck. That guy actually hit me. Obviously, you would get better by playing the game. I'm just not very good at this stuff. I can't, like, concentrate because there's so much shit on the screen. Plus, it is kind of hard to talk and do this at the same time. Plus, it's... Oh, God. Fuck. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boosh. Okay. Wow, I took a lot of damage. What the fuck? Oh god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, oh fuck. Oh, what, I can't turn around. What, whoa, whoa, what the fuck was that? It was like locked on to me or something. Why, why is it, why can't I turn around right now? She's like spun one direction. Well, alright, I'll just stay behind him, I guess. Well, I'm about to die. Why can't I move? I can't move. I literally, I, I, I can't, there we go. Well, I'm about to die. I don't know what's going to happen when I die. Well, I got that guy. I know that's definitely not the end of the level. That was just a mini boss. Oh my god, I am so dead. Fucking dodged, god damn. I can't fucking turn around and attack. I literally can't. I'm about, I just died. I exploded. Okay, so I figured out how to change my controls now, so now I know how to use the sword. And I changed my dash to spacebar. It's much, much easier that way. Also, the sword is ridiculously powerful. Fuck. It's also my special weapon. Plus, the sword, combining the sword with, uh, with your dash is fucking powerful as hell. It is dangerous because you can end up burning out, like, taking, uh, taking that much more heat. God, it's, the sword is so much better. I don't know why I didn't actually look into the control panel before. Like, all I had to do was go to the config controls and I could fucking change it. I don't know why I didn't do that. All right. The sword is fucking awesome, by the way. I mean, it literally is just fucking powerful. Okay, I did not mean to do that.
But yeah, I'm not taking any damage from being, like, pretty much inside this dude right now. Boosh! Got that guy. See, I'm actually doing much, much better now, now that I know what the goddamn controls are. Plus, you can actually destroy rockets with the sword, which is pretty fucking cool. And it doesn't actually increase your... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your heat gauge. So I can literally just focus on using my actual, like, combo, like this, with my heat gauge. I don't know what that is. Oh god, it has rockets. Gotta be careful, my heat's going up, and I keep spamming the wrong button. I can't get off the target. Alright, what the fuck? So sometimes the locking can be really stupid. What the hell is that? Holy smoke, am I the only one left alive? What the hell are you? Everybody else went down. This area has nothing to do with the war. Would you please leave? Eh, I can't do that. I still have a ton of work left for me to do. Work? That's right. Our en our engineers... En oh, engineers, I'm guessing. Engineers escaped, and they should be around here. She must be talking about those engineers. I heard the engineers are pretty important, but they can be harmful, too, if they're out of their reach. So I have to beat all the engineers down. So, they're your target? I'll just smash them down and go home. I won't let you do that. Oh? You gonna get in my way, girly? I see a boy or a girl. I think he's a boy, maybe. I don't know. They're working hard to make something wonderful happen. To tidy up the whole sky and turn this planet into a place where everyone can live happily. I know it's probably going to take a lot of trouble and effort, but I find it wonderful. So wonderful, it makes me excited just thinking about it. So if I can help, if, if I can be a help to them, I will use all I have. Hmm, I'm not quite sure what you're saying, but if you get in my way, I'll just take you down too. If you're intent on hurting them, I'll make you stop here, even if I have to fight. Wow, okay. You can fucking teleport? Fuck off. I'm getting my ass kicked. I can't... Why am I not using my sword? I'm about to die. I'm gonna die. I died. Fucking god damn it, this fucking game is hard as shit! Alright, let's do this again, you fucking bitch! God damn it, dude! Fuck you, how about that? Goddamn TC or whatever your fucking name is. Yeah, fucking eat my sword, you fucking. I don't even know if you're a guy or a girl, I don't know. God damn it, lock on to her. Fuck you, you fucking energy beam thing, whatever the hell that is. Oh god, oh god, oh god, alright, alright, alright. Watch it! What? Are you fucking serious? Okay, fuck this. I've tried fighting this last guy five times. I'm not doing it. It's fucking bullshit. The guy literally does not be able to lock on, and it is impossible to aim at these enemies unless you're locked on. It's fucking bullshit. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot beat level two on easy difficulty. But anyway, that was Sora. I've been playing for 45 minutes. Have not beaten the second guy. I've literally gone back and played through the tutorial absolutely no way it's fucking bullshit i'm sorry but i literally you it is impossible to aim in this game unless you're locked on because she only looks to the right so if there's a guy on my left i can't make her turn around to shoot him i literally have to use the left and right because it's using left and right arrow keys to move around so she can only face one direction so if i want to stand still and fire I can only fire to the right. If I want to fire to the left, I have to move closer to the guy and shoot or strike with my sword. But if I get close to him, his lasers end up hitting me. And then those fucking rocks come in, which are definitely energy rocks because they're fucking glowing. And I can't dodge those. They do a ridiculous amount of damage. So fuck that. I'm not playing through it again. Five times is enough to fail on one goddamn boss when I can get to the entire thing without getting hurt. And then I fight the boss and he just destroys me. It's bullshit. I'm sorry, but not happening. But that was sorry. It was a pretty cool game. Um, the game was like, I bought it when it was on sale it was eight bucks it wasn't bad like honestly i really enjoyed it but then again that's a pretty steep price for a fucking stupidly difficult game i'm sorry like i like the game itself the programming is fun the combat system is cool 
but when there's an enemy like him who literally shoots lasers that follow you around, which yes, you can dot, you can dash around them, but when his fucking rocks come from every corner of the goddamn screen, you can't see where they're coming from until they're freaking hitting you, and you can't dodge them, and by the time your character locks onto them in order to be able to strike them, they're already hitting you, which is not fair. He does way too much damage. This is easy difficulty. I should be able to plow through this game on easy difficulty, no problem, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's a fun game, but people who are better at these type of games should be able to play it better than I am. So anyway, if you guys want to check this game out for yourself, I'll put a link to the game in the description below. It's just frustrating in the sense that I can't beat him on easy difficulty. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that I've done, and I will see you guys next time. Maniacs out. Yeah. I should try to find my present and leave. Wow, so your first instinct is to just steal your present that you were promised and then leave? Like, but yeah, her combo is really good. Like, once I pick somebody up in there, she does this really awesome, like, gigantic, like, fucking kick where she, like, smashes...